Church family, we've spent the last 21 days praying together. And now on this Saturday before Easter, we come to our final day of prayer where we are going to pray for the lost who we are trusting that God will bring to salvation during our Easter services tomorrow. The passage of scripture that we want to look at today comes from the book of Jude, verses 20 through 23, which read, but you, beloved, building yourself up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life and have mercy on those who doubt. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. To others show mercy with fear, hating even the garment stained by the flesh. As a church, this is what we're doing. We are waiting eagerly for our Lord and Savior to return. But until that happens, we have a commission, a commandment from our Lord to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ until he returns. And by doing so, the Bible says that we are snatching people out of the fire. We are doing our part in what God has called us to do so that he then can move in people's lives and draw them from darkness into light. We believe that God has been moving in these 21 days of prayer. We believe that God is going to answer the prayers that we have prayed and that people are going to be here in person tomorrow. People are going to be joining us online, maybe who have never heard the gospel before. So in this final day of our 21 days of prayer, in this, on this final Saturday of Holy Week, right before Easter, we want to pray that God will do the work that only he can do. So let's pray together. Our Father and our God, we thank you that we have been able to spend these 21 days as a congregation boldly coming before the throne of God, believing that you will answer our prayers, believing that you hear us when we pray, believing, God, that you will move in our midst. We ask you to do that now. We trust, God, that tomorrow in our Easter services, both in person and online, there will be people who you will call to faith in Jesus Christ. There will be hearts of stone that you turn into hearts of flesh. There will be blind eyes that you cause to see for the first time. God, would you regenerate hearts? Would you bring people to faith in Jesus? Would they be receptive to that word? Would nothing stand in their way in the morning of being here or joining us on our streaming platform so that they can hear this good news? Father, we believe that in eternity past, an appointment was set for people that tomorrow would be the day of their salvation. Would that be so? Because of the faithful gospel proclamation of this church, we pray. Thank you, God, that you are going to move in this way. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Church family, thank you so much for praying with us over these last 21 days. We continue in the spirit of prayer as we look expectantly to come together tomorrow in worshiping our risen Savior, hearing the gospel proclaimed, believing that God will change hearts. Thank you for doing this with us. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow on Easter.